5.7 now, we poured it out, but it was originally a 5.3 uh, iron block from the 2000 Tahoe. Nice. Uh, it's got a cam, sleeve cylinders, sports pistons, sports rods, everything internal is rated for 1300 horsepower. And then, uh, just on 10 pounds of boost, it's uh, 4 horsepower, 6 horsepower. You can make up to 28 pounds of boost. Holy. <laughs> Yeah. What kind of transit are you running? It's a stock Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun. That's so cool. So everything just mates up to it? Yeah. Uh, well, not just mates up. You have to get adapters and stuff, but LOJ conversions, so they make adapters. For okay. I mean, it's just so cool. You get to keep the stock transmission, you know, where you want it. You don't have to do anything like that. Cutting out the hood, that looks perfect, man. Yeah, I, I cut the hood myself. You did a great job on it. You did a great job on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now, I'm honestly just enjoying driving it with shitty paint. That way, I don't have to worry about it. I'm not yeah. <laughs> How long have you had it? Uh, so, I just got it reliable enough to be willing to drive it to Atlanta uh, from Chattanooga about okay. a week ago. Okay. So, been, you just got it done. Yeah, I pulled the motor out, the stock motor, about three years ago, November 2017. Wow. I've been working on it ever since then. Dude, your hard work is clearly paying off. This is one of the coolest scenes I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I was taking a shot of the back, I was like, oh, I love these. And then I just saw the supercharger over, and I was like, holy shit, I gotta go look at this thing. That's a whole different monster. How is it to work on it? I mean, like, you know, they talk about some cars being an absolute bitch to work with. So, because it's, uh, because it's just a 5.3 out of a Tahoe, it, honestly, it should be pretty stout, and it's way under two for what it can handle. Sure. So, I hopefully don't have too many issues out of it, but there's definitely been some kinks we had to work out. Yeah, that And really, I mean, like the like, cream white color with the black powder coat really just makes it stand out. You see, I originally wanted to go black with the car, but yeah. I've had it this color for so long, I've kind of grown a tag. Yeah. Idea, yeah, I might just redo this color when I do get it painted. I, I, I think it would look really good if you did that. Yeah, I do like the contrast. Yeah. It makes it stand out more. If it was a black car, you wouldn't notice it as much. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, and then, Matt, you don't know this. You see those headlights? Yeah. Those headlights are so good. Lamborghini stole them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and the Diablo, it's funny because they say Nissan right here at the top. Yeah. And the Diablo, they actually put a little carbon fiber strip at the top of the headlight. Yeah. To cover the cover the That's so, I didn't know that. That's yeah. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, uh... Have you done any kind of like suspension stuff? Uh, so it has the Tane Flexi coilovers. Okay. Um, really not too much other than that. Uh, I'm about to do a bunch of chassis reinforcement stuff and right. then work on some cosmetic stuff interior wise. I want to get a roll cage in it. Yeah. That's like something that I'm really adamant about getting done. Uh, yeah. Just for safety. I think you're, yeah. But With that much power? Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, if I wind up wrapped around a tree, I would much rather have a, a cage protecting me than exactly. nothing. Exactly. But yeah, a cage, I want to redo the interior, uh, have it repainted, and then a bunch of chassis reinforcement, alignment stuff. But um, I pretty much just got it running reliably, so I'm trying to chill out spending money on it for a second. Oh yeah, dude, no, honeymoon, honeymoon stage, enjoy it running. Oh, yeah. Enjoy it running. Everybody swaps the 350Zs and 370s. 300ZX now. Yeah. Right? You just don't see that. So, but hey, I appreciate it, Ted. Good meeting you.